Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am Rodolfo Fiorini from Polytechnic University, Milano. And um, I started as a, a, bi a young bioengineer. Then I took a, 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 P a PhD on uh, energy man management from uh, uh, quantum zero point to the far away universes, uh, all the, the different form of, forms of energy. And then I got, uh, I got another PhD in bioengineering, but that was just uh, coupled with the first one. Uh, so um, uh, I, I tried uh, to uh, be a little provocative because uh, I like to get feedback from you. And so uh, the topic two is driver for social evolution and equitable development. And, um, and so I think that uh, you know quite well about the Millennium Project and GACS. And, uh, and then uh, even the United Nations SDGs. Uh, what I did uh, just to, to, to introduce, uh, introduce our uh, conversation was a combined review of them. And so I, I tried to find the superposition and repetition. And, uh, and even, uh, so you see there, uh, all the correspondences that I, I found and uh, for MSCG and for uh, couple to SDGs and and then uh, uh, well I realized that some of them are really focused on the, on the safe subject and uh, those uh, are there are uh, MG, M, MCG2 uh, is coupled with SDG6 MCG9 is coupled with SDG4 MCG11 is coupled with SDG5. And so they are clearly defined. So clearly that the uh, most uh, investment banks and investors group are investing just there. Mm -hmm. MCG2 is clean water, clean water and sanitation over there. And so many, many investment groups are, are just buying aquifer resources all over the world. And, uh, and for MCG9 and SDG4, that is uh, 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 education and learning, then you see uh, that uh, a, lot, a lot of uh, in, uh, enterprises are just investing in a new education. And uh, for, is, for instance, in India, I mean, uh, a lot of uh, private universities are just growing in a, in a, 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 an incredible pace. Uh, and then uh, MCG 11, SDG 5 is that uh, status of women and, uh, uh, and uh, ge uh, gender equality. Again, there are influence groups that are really investing deeply in that, in that direction. But what uh, makes uh, the MCG unique are just uh, number 5, 14, and 15, that is global forest size and decision making and then uh, uh, the uh, science and technology issue and uh, the global ethics that are not present in the United States, up, I mean, uh, just on the surface you know, of the presentation. So that's just to give you a reference point uh, to, to be able to have a clear view of what is going on. But uh, I think that uh, 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 they did a great job but again, they used, unfortunately, the same approach of the education that we all were educated with, with the past approach. And so the past approach just uh, uh, educate us to focus on the problem and to focus just on, a, on their system in focus, meso system, uh, discarding all the rest. You know, you remember the, the idea of the closest system, you know, the, the just to simplify everything, the reductionist approach. And then, uh, yeah, you, you simplify immediately, but then uh, you get problem later. That is, uh, you, find, uh, you try to find uh, uh, short-term uh, fixes, and then you will have problems later, long-term problems. And in fact, paradigmatic limitations are just the base of that approach, that is, uh, for instance, just to give you some kind of reference, optimal control theory system robustness and system risk analysis are just quite limited. Think about it, that we use the first one to go to the moon, and the second one just to manage all the, the power, uh, nuclear power plant reactors. You know? 
and uh, and uh, and they are really uh, quite 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 fragile. So the root of current problem is that that kind of of, uh, of approach that focuses us uh, on 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 the meso scale. And in fact, if you want to find short-term fixes for uh, the, the, our problems, usually we have two po two starting points. We can start from top-down uh, approach. Uh, so. Uh, we go the, uh, we go from top to down, and then uh, and then uh, we, you see you see that that red uh, sign there is enlarging, going down. That is the meaning that the noise is enlarging, going down. So uh, if you want to get uh, information, it gets more and more difficult for going down. And but then you can try to solve that problem just the, the other way around, starting from the bottom up. But then you get another problem, starting from the bottom up, sooner or later, you hit a ceiling of the combinatorial explosion. So either way, you get a gray area about the system that you want to know better. Just an opaque veil that you try to, to manage with statistics techniques that unfortunately they don't help you in that way. And so we need uh, uh, to be aware that observers to la plus grand part, imaginaires c'est que l'on s'attend à voir. And in a, to, to observe uh, for a certain point of view, uh, for a major part, is just to imagine what you were already expecting to see. And if you have that kind of attitude, you discover nothing. And in fact, remember in relativity further, we cannot solve our problems uh, with the same thinking we used when we create them. Le seul véritable voyage, ce ne serait pas d'aller dans un nouveau paysage, mais d'avoir une autre société. So, uh, the, the real research uh, journey is not to discover new countries, new territories, but to have new eyes. That's the most difficult part of the story. <laughs> Try to have new eyes with, a path, with a, 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 a obsol an obsolete education. Hmm? So, that's a, the, the, we need uh, continuous learning, just to update our database, our background. And so right now we, uh, we discovered the, 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 the second half of the, of the past century, the complexity is the possibility of separating a system from its context, a living being from its environment, an object from its measuring instrument. And so it's time to return to original configuration. The intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the irrational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. <laughs> and then instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have undoubtedly certain finite fibers that enable us to perceive truth while logical deduction and or any other fearful effort of the brain is futile. And uh, the last one is uh, that science cannot solve the nature ultimate mystery of the, the, the science can solve the ultimate mystery of nature. And that is because in the last analysis, we have ourselves as a part of nature and therefore part of the mystery that we are trying to solve. So we have always to remember that we are part of nature. We are not against nature as the reductionist approach told us, you know? Nature is imperfect, it's up to us to make it perfect. Oh, what, is, what arrogance approach, arrogant approach. To bodily understanding, so now we have uh, by the four systems are simple, the past one. Uh, some of them are complicated, occasionally systems are complex, the weaker systems are exceedingly rare. That's the reductionist approach. Or we have the new track that is, by, by the four systems are complex. System, system, <laughs> simple systems are limiting cases, includes complicated systems, and complex systems treated as if they are simple tend to generate weaker problems. <laughs> 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 and so, why, why this? Why this? Well, uh, I try to figure out the, 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 the root uh, at, at, the, at the core of the problem. And so the, from information theory, uh, if you want to capture the full information of, of anything, you have to be aware that there are three, four fundamental components. The direct space, the co-direct space, reciprocal space, the co-reciprocal space. And uh, the reductionist approach focuses only on direct space. So think about all the information content that you get from any experiment, how, how, how small or how large it, it, it is. It doesn't matter. They are all, always there, four com basic components. So 
So if you focus on direct space only, the best you can do, use only 25% of the wool information you can get from your experiment. Think about it. And you discard all the other parts. Amazing. Huh? And so, uh, if you don't use this kind of, of approach, you don't even think about the other components, and so even less you, you can think about their relationship with the dire space. Think about which waste of information we have. And the, 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 the worst that we can have is even, we are not even aware of the cross relationship that, that are present in our, in our system. And so, uh, we can divide this uh, reference into others, and, and the, the upper part is just a, 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 a track to, to model the outer universe, and the bottom part is a track to model the inner universe. And they have to talk together. Outer universe, inner universe. Huh? They have to talk together without loss of information. And so, if we, are, if we start doing that, we find a solution to our problem, because now we'll be able to move up and down of the, of the scales with no information loss. We, can, uh, we will be able to conserve information. And so, the major driver of social evolution is just the phrase that we already saw before. We cannot solve our problem with the same thing we used when we created them. We have to think all continuously about that phrase. Because we, are, we were and are still currently educated to the reductionist learning which leads to action based on unaware approximated approximations. We must switch to evolutionary learning which can create the right interactions with the complex world and universes based on aware exact approximations. And so, the challenge of evolutionary learning is just this, because we all share this more planet Earth, we have to learn to live in harmony and peace with each other and with, the na with nature. That is not just a dream, but a necessity. If our fifth major risk is to apply only short-term solutions to long-term problems, according to John McWilliams, as popularized by the recent book of Michael Levis, the biggest risk of all is to achieve a reduced awareness on our current inability to get new eyes, according to WWAS. Our biggest drivers for social evolution and equitable development must be the increased ability to get new eyes by appropriate education and evolutionary learning. Without forgetting that neuralized world is always in progress. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time.